Millersville men's basketball team opened its 2012-13 season in business mode. Coach Fred Thompson, who has led the Marauders to a pair of PSAC championships and four NCAA tournaments, expects to erase the sour taste of the last four seasons this year. The team has 19 players on the roster early on, which is a challenge in itself. Everything that we accomplished uh, uh, last year, you know, right now we're going through a bunch of drills, trying to get them adjusted to playing uh, college basketball, trying to get them to get rid of the bad habits that they that, that they have, and hopefully, um, you know, they will adjust because that's the first week is, is is such a tough week, and you got so many guys. Uh, some of the kids that supposed to get repetition, they don't get enough repetition. We understand that. But um, we're going to go about a week with this, and then we're going to break it down to the group that we, we expected to keep. Four double-figure scorers return in Larry Grant, Anthony Coleman, James Miller, and Elijah Obeyed. Having veteran players that have endured the rigors of a PSAC schedule is incredibly important to this year's success. That's the key to being successful. You have to have uh, uh, uh veteran players, so we call them veteran players, is coming back uh, that have ha got experience uh, to compete. Um, you know, I, I think we have a, a great core of older players and, and younger players, and we don't have to, you know, throw the younger players into the fire. They can go through the experience uh, of not uh, being thrown out there early on uh, where they can learn from these guys that are back uh, from last year. Uh, so, so we're happy with that, the makeup of this team, and we're really going to be leaning a lot on Larry, Elijah, James, and uh, Anthony to get us, you know, to get us through the season and to teach these young guys what it's like to be in, 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 this, uh, in this league. Even with the strong quartet of players returning, there needs to be contributions from newcomers. Transfers Brandon Belt and Nate Bollinger fit that role. I hate to name names. Sure. But um, we got a couple of transfers in, a uh, kid from Gannon, Brandon Belt, kid from Lebanon Valley, uh, Nathan Bollinger, and they're juniors. And uh, they're just going to be a great addition to this team because they, uh, I don't know whether y'all stayed long enough, but they had a tremendous first day of practice. Um, it's, when you get veteran players, uh, transfers that – comes in and understand your system, um, understands us system, and have to adjust to your system, it's, it's great because the adjustment for them are not that hard. When you get freshmen in, it's, it's pretty hard for them to come to high school uh, learning a new system. But uh, those two kids, uh, we really, really high on, and we, 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 our expectation for them is uh, – pretty high because I, I think that th they can come in and they can uh, play immediately, be an immediate impact to, to, the, to the basketball team.